So the team suffered defeat to Newcastle Eagles last weekend. How much do you read into pre-season games like that, even though the players will only, will only been training for one or two weeks at the time? Well, I mean, the Newcastle game probably come uh, at least a week too early for us, especially the level that they were playing at. Um, I'd said that from the, from the, the from to various people and from right from the start. Um, our biggest problem was that we we haven't had the, any, most of our main guys in. Um, Kieran and Gareth came uh, on the day before. Um, Jalen had come in on the Wednesday of that week, but was really quite jet lagged, and that was a conditioning week for us. So um, I was disappointed in the small parts of the game that could have affected that result a little bit better. Um, we missed a lot of layups. Um, we missed a lot of free throws. We had low energy. Um, and thus the, the result looked probably worse than what it actually was. Um, but for, as, a, as a competitive game, it was important for us to get a good benchmark. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm more happy to know where Newcastle are than actually knowing where we were at that time. And the teams meet again in a few weeks in the league. How sure. confident are you that your Rocks team will look a completely different side by then? To totally confident. Um, and confident and also know that we will look a completely different side. They're going to be better. Um, we'll see them again this weekend at the at the O2. Um, so we're going to see a team that's at this moment probably the deepest team, one of the deepest teams for a long while in this league. Um, very, very, uh, uh, really no weaknesses. So um, we've got a lot of work to do, uh, but I'm very, very happy uh, for our, our preparation this week um, and we're definitely improving day on day. And you say they're improving, how are the players improving in terms of um, the match fitness and adapting to the new tactical foundations that you've been laying? Well, I mean, the thing about it is the, the way that my coaching mythology and system is built is that um, we want to get better every single day. And that's not every single day in pre-season, that's every single day in the whole of the season. And I think traditionally my teams have got better and better and better um, as the season goes on. Um, so it's going to take time. This is not a, a short-term process. So we started with conditioning. Um, now we're into a more trying to get the players up to game speed, which is still, I still think they're a week away from being really, really sharp. We're trying to get them to understand each other. There's a lot of new players, a lot of new faces on the team. Um, and then the new system that they're trying to learn. Although uh, there's, there's a lot of characteristics that they, 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 they ran last year under Coach Sterling Davis. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, content with where we are at this moment. Um, the sessions are getting faster, more tempo. Uh, we're getting more competitive, um, but we still got lots and lots of work to do. Uh, I seen you comment this morning that it's been the most competitive game you, you've seen in training. Um, how receptive have they been to your methods and have you been pleased with the reaction since last week? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean we're, 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 there's, there's lots of areas for us to improve in. There's areas, every, every single area, including um, our main players, senior players, Gareth and Kieran. I mean, they're, they're just getting really into, the, into what we do. Um, but I mean, what I ask each player to do every day is to come and play as hard as possible. Um, and then we want to play together. At this moment, um, our consistency of playing hard is not where it needs to be. We need to be more consistent when we play on the court with maximum effort. And then we, that's a conditioning aspect and that's also a mental aspect. And then we also need to compete on every single play. And I don't think that that's uh, a trait that happens often here in the BBL. And I hope that I can instill that and then lastly, we need to start to get to know each other a little bit better. So, yeah, the, yesterday was um, you know, it's our, our last day before we go down to play London Lions. Um, and the team looked extremely more uh, together. Um, and there was some very, very good play out there and there was some good competition. We just got to carry on improving every single day. And I noticed that a lot of the more experienced players were taking it upon themselves to discuss amongst the players during the breaks, to discuss different tactical things and iron out some flaws. Is that something that you encourage? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why you have experienced players. I mean, um, in, a, in an ideal world, we, wouldn't, we probably would have some more experienced, other experienced players with our team as well. But it isn't like that. And so we need a quick learning curve. That doesn't just come from the coaching staff. Um, it comes from the senior players who understand some of these tactics much, much more uh, clearer and cleaner 
um, and they're able to, in some ways, um, impart that knowledge, um, maybe even better than what myself and, and Daryl can do. So happy, very happy with that. Um, that's a good trait and that brings a good co cohesiveness for the team. And how do you see the game going against London? Well, I mean, that's a really important game for us. Um, we want to make a much bigger account of ourselves than uh, we did against Newcastle. Um, so we want to play with a better tempo. Uh, we want to play much, much more with better energy and better defence. Um, and then we will need to start to make some shots. I mean, of course, the easy layups and stuff should be a given. Making free throws should be a given. Um, but then we want to start making shots. We shot terribly last week. We looked very, very flat. So I'm, I'm hoping for uh, a really high level performance tomorrow so that we could then build upon that for the week after. Um, we would have something to take away. And plus, we need to make sure that we're playing our best to go into the tournament on Sunday. And on Sunday, how do you think your players are suited to the new, uh, the new adaptation of the game? To, to, to be honest with you, I have no idea. I don't think any of the coaches have any idea. Um, I like our tempo. I like the fact that most of our players can make plays. Um, I think that we're going to become a pretty good defensive team. Um, we can do a lot of switching, uh, which is what something we've been working on. Um, so I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, I have a pretty big belief that um, we'll be, we'll be able to play well. Um, but the, the most funniest thing of all is we'll know what London are like because we would have played them on the Friday and that's our first game. So uh, yeah, and we get a couple of games watching the other teams play. So it's going to be a listen. Um, I mean, that no one knows how that tournament's going to go. So hopefully it can go well for us.